Hello. Welcome YouTube. It's been a while since I've recorded a video, so I thought it was about time for one. Um, this is my Dell SX I'll pull the model number up for you. SX2210. Love this monitor. It's got HDMI, VGA, and DVI. I've got a recently I just bought this Dell XPS 400 Penny MD 2.8 gigahertz, 1 gig of RAM, and a 250 gigabyte hard drive, and I just put a 40 gig IE in there as well. And I'm going to do a boot up test of uh, Windows XP for you. So I'm going to hit the power button now. There we are. Let me get this focused. There it is. But I'll tell you it's a Penny MD. Oh, got a CD and a CD drive. We might have to reboot this. Okay, there we go. So from the time I hit the uh, enter button to boot into the OS, that's the time I'm going to consider. Okay. So there it is. Windows XP Home Edition. And I will get my trusty iPod. We'll pull the clock up. All cracked. That doesn't affect anything. Maybe here's the stopwatch. I'll put it up here on top of my Dell keyboard, which my room's a mess. So there's my thing, my lazy drive. So at the same time as I hit this, I'm actually going to move down here. The same time as I hit enter for that, I want to hit D. Okay, there we go. It's about one second. Hide. Bam. Done. That quick. That was 18 seconds to the welcome screen. That's what it's telling me here. Tell me otherwise in the video. Okay. It was faster before I uploaded stuff to it, put programs on it. Could use a more RAM. Could do startup light too by uh, malware bites people. Let me grab my Dell mouse. Official Dell mouse. Anyway, we're in. Yeah, wait, I'm an antivirus. Yeah, that's just for my wireless card drivers. Anyway, here we are. text um, so let's pull up the system preferences for you well not system preference view system information and penny d 2.80 and the hard drive 228 and then Hmm. Alright, the Linux partition isn't showing up. I guess that's just whatever. So, we will do a reboot of Linux starting up on this machine. It's got a graphics card of a, um, let's watch how fast this thing shuts down. Um. Bam. I don't want bam yet, but much faster than many computers I've ever owned to use. Paid twenty five dollars for this computer. Didn't want it anymore because they had virus and so that weird. Nothing a Dell restore this will do. So then again we'll go up to my clock. Trusty old clock. That little grubby load. As soon as it let me stop this. Reset timer. Okay. Tool we'll boot. We'll boot this. Linux Ubuntu 2. Point. That's Ubuntu Linux 9.10. Boot that. Okay. Start the timer. 
auto adjustment. This time I'm on our VGA. Hmm, never seen that before. One there and then one there. Whatever. Zoom me out a little bit. Uh, if you're ever considering buying this monitor, Peter, I really suggest that the monitor's great. I've had it for about a year. Pair it to my Mac Mini. Which I've not been impressed with the Mac Mini, but the monitor definitely. Bam, to the login screen. It was actually 32 second, 32.6 seconds. It was actually 37, or not 37, 33, because I started it a second late. So, let's log in. Here, I want to go the other way, so you can see. Okay. Love the new Ubuntu 9.10. But I need help on the driver end of installing Compez Fusion. If any of you know how to do that. Right, let's just open the visual effects here. Hmm. Huh, maybe it works now. I don't know. I've not tried it. I think I reinstalled the drivers, so. But I heard it will work in Linux Ubuntu 9, 9.04, but I'm running 9.10, so. I prefer not to downgrade, but if, if I have to, I will. Then again, we're just waiting on that little thing. And here's the message I'll get. If I get the message I usually get. Yep, right here. Desktop effects could not be enabled. And that's just my just a wireless network in our place. Burrito Bliss. Not my internet. But whatever. I still know the password to it. Where are boss hog? Anyway, not to keep you guys. Um, yeah. NEMD, 2.80 gigahertz, 1 gig of RAM, Dell 400, XPS 400. I'll do a desktop later when my room's actually cleaned up to do one. Peace. Subscribe. Yeah, do whatever. Talk to you later. Or, real quick, and if you ever want to have a question, email me. You can email me at hartman.tyler at gmail. Thanks.